it's Crystal Lynn back again with another eyeshadow swatch video. Today I'm going to be swatching these brand new releases from Colourpop that came out at Ulta today. We have four cute fruit themed quads, some new quads to add to the mix, and then we have this nine pan press powder palette called the All Amethyst Palette. If you're interested in seeing these color stories swatched out and how they perform, then just keep on watching. But first, if you're new here, hi, I'm Crystal. I'd love if you hit the subscribe button and join the channel. Also, if you love swatch videos and you love seeing new releases, then please give this video a big thumbs up and uh, let's get started. Okay, so here we have the All Amethyst Pressed Powder Palette. Nine shades times one gram per shade for a total of nine grams of product. We have the shade names listed on the back with no asterisks, so no pigment warnings on any of these shadows, which is always nice to see. We do not have a mirror in these palettes in the traditional style of the Ulta ColourPop palettes, but we do have some very pretty packaging. Let's just jump right on in to these swatches. So the first shade is this beautiful shimmer. It spins just like <laughs> my champagne palette. Some of the shades would just spin and spin and spin as well. So here is that first shade. It looks like kind of a white to purple duochrome. And that's precisely what it is. That shade feels really, um, like not flaky at all, just very uh, smooth and like almost like emollient. Almost feels like a cream shadow there, even though I know it's not. And then next we have the shade High Grade. Just a nice little shimmer there. Very pretty, just kind of like, that one looks pretty pink to me. Just a light pinky, maybe a hint of lilac in the reflection there. Not a whole lot of uh, pigment so far to these. Well, I guess it's the color, you know what I mean. <laughs> Not a lot of bright colors. This is Trigonal. It's one of those uh, mattes with a shimmer that we don't particularly care for, but this one actually looks really, really pretty. Ooh, that is a gorgeous shade. I was trying to get a little bit closer so you guys can see. Let me build that up a little bit. This is really, really pretty, you guys. It is like a matte lilac, very opaque, and then it has like these beautiful purple little shimmeries in there. That is gorgeous. Then we have our first true matte. This is Feb's Gem. So this must be, I wonder if they're doing, um, kind of copying BH Cosmetics and doing like birthstone palettes. We'll see if they come out with a March one, huh? <laughs> so there is that first matte, Feb's Gem. Gorgeous pinky purple there. This one looks so pretty. It's going to be our purple to blue duochrome. This is not a, a unique shade, but they get me every time because they're so freaking pretty. There we go. The purple with the blue reflect. Pretty common duochrome. Pretty every single time I see it. Then we, it looks like we have like a purpley taupe. This is called Dist or That. Pretty straightforward color there. Swatch pretty nice. Is a little bit chunky, but could also be that I just pressed a little harder on that one. Then we have this pic, and this picture, oh my gosh, this shade, you guys, Amulet, looks absolutely gorgeous. A very purple, a blurple, if you will. Very shimmery, oh my goodness, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. Now that one didn't swatch quite as good. Let me go in for another little dippity doo -dah here. There we go. That shade is absolutely fantastic, love it. Then we have another matte, oh look, it has my name in it. This is, <laughs> my boyfriend would agree, this is Crystal Crazy. <laughs> We're gonna have a laugh about that. This is a nice like taupey purple. That's a really nice shade. That's gonna look really nice with some of the other shades in the palette. So far I'm really impressed because we do have quite a bit of depth in this palette. Sometimes with the ColourPop and Ulta palettes we don't get a lot of depth. So that's really exciting. Then we have Royal Affair, which is a true plummy purple. Very nice. That one is with the deeper purples. 
I'm gonna take a little more blending. That definitely didn't swatch very well. I don't know if it was my arm or the shade, but there we go. We definitely have some nice depth in the palette. There is the entire color story of the All Amethyst palette. Definitely the very, very pretty. The shimmers in this palette, you guys, are so gorgeous. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a close up of the shades in the pans as well. So you can see. All right, and the price of this palette is um, was $14. Let's move on to the quads. Okay, I am back. My arm is cleaned off, and we're gonna jump into swatching these cute little quads. Um, there are similar color stories to other release quads, but this one I'm really excited about. Um, it looks much more cool tone in person than it did in the online pictures, and these shimmers, you guys, look really, really promising. There's a pinky purple duochrome and this Aussie IU baby. It looks gorgeous. The same, it, all the top <laughs> corner ones seem to be like a duochrome shimmer, and they look absolutely insanely shimmery. So without further ado, let's jump right on in. We will start first with <laughs> the coconut, so hopefully I don't get... <laughs> as stained up let's see i don't want to rip the box because the box is so cute we'll open it from this end maybe there we go okay so on this first one i do not see any shade warnings whatsoever which is again always nice to see it's just our standard we've seen this packaging <laughs> quite a few times now but like i said the colors do appear to be quite different this time at least in tone. So I am looking forward to checking these out. So this first shimmer shade, I'm really excited. It looks so beautiful. Look very reflective and nice. Ooh, I love it. It's like a nice like white with a gold reflect. That shade is called Coco Wild. The next shade is called Vacay. It is one of those uh, shimmery mattes but it's just a nice cream color and just kind of like a, you can see the reflectors in there, but they're almost just like clear, if that, if that makes sense. A little, it looks silver in the light, the little uh, pinpoints in there, but it definitely can appear as a true cream shade. You're just gonna have a little bit of sparkle. I know it's kind of having a little bit of hard time showing up on my wrist. Once I swatch them, I'll turn the light down and we'll see if that makes any difference. Next we have Palm Tree. Again, a matte with shimmer. Just a nice kind of cooler toned brown. This, these shades are very reminiscent of the Going Coconuts palette in a mini form <laughs> with lots of shimmer. Then the last shade is Nuts For You. This is our true, one and only true matte in the palette. But it is nice because it's going to give us plenty of depth in there. Nice, cool toned brown. Let me see if I can turn the light down just really quick and see if the first two shades will show up better for you guys. What did I do? That was the wrong thing. There we go. Okay, so here it is just in the my true light of my room. You can see definitely the shimmer's a little better like that. So that is the, what is it called? Feeling coconutty quad. Next, I'm gonna go into the pink quad. This is Strawberry Sweet. This one does have some asterisks here for pigment. So we have asterisks on Super Seed and also on Sherbert, and it does say not intended for immediate use in the eye area. Um, it definitely must be a pigment thing because these are not glitters. Find the packaging is so cute on this the little strawberry seeds all over it. Can you guys see that? Oh, I forgot to add, these are $10 a piece. But you know, Ulta does offer like the $3.50 off um, coupon. So you can apply that towards your purchase of $15 or more. So our first shade is called Fresh Picked. And I'm really excited for this shimmer. Definitely has some texture in there. It's not, it doesn't show up as bright as I honestly like thought it was going to be. 
definitely like a pink uh, to kind of like a creamy gold reflect. Let's see if it builds up at all. Definitely very light, and in the uh, the camera, it almost looks a little orangey to me, which maybe when I play it back, it won't look like that. Then we have Parfait. This is another matte with <laughs> a little bit of shimmer in it. Not as much shimmer, though, as the last one, so that's good. In fact, I can see them in there, but it's really not showing up as a shimmery shade, really. Just a nice pink. Then we have the asterisk shades. This is Super Seed. This color looks so pretty though. I'm really excited. Nice strawberry pink. Ooh, yes, I'm s I love this. Look at this color. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. It actually reminds me of a Super Shock, the Jam Out Super Shock from, <laughs> from a while back. Very, very pretty. I'm excited because my Jam Out is like dried up. <laughs> Then we have Sherbert. This is a true matte, definitely <laughs> pressed pigment. Look at that. It almost, the way it's picking up, it looks like, um, almost like pure pigment, like the neon pigments. Ooh, that is a neon pink. Oh my goodness. That is so wild pretty. Let me turn the light off just so I can show you in both lights. So there it is in just um, my bedroom lighting. That pink is a hot pink, holy crap. And definitely with the, that light off, this does look a little more like it is a pink. Moving on to our next quad. This is the On The Mango quad. This one does have two asterisks as well on the shades, On The Shade Orchard and Sweet Nectar. Again, uh, the asterisk just means it's technically not intended for immediate use around the eye. But that is up to you. Uh, none of these are pressed glitters, so do with that information what you will. Right, my little, my little fingerprints off it. It's kind of cold out, so everything's fogging up. So our first shade here is no asterisk. This is Mango Tango. If you've been on the channel for a minute, you know that I love orange, so I am very excited to see this quad. That is Mango Tango. Not as super reflective as I was hoping that it would be. Still very pretty. Next up we have Orchard. This is a asterisk shade. Again, almost like the pink one. It definitely swatches like almost like a pure pigment, not a lot of filler in there. Yeah, so it's kind of like a, a sheer formula. Not as bright as the pink, but still quite colorful. Then we have Sweet Nectar, which is another matte. Again, it's you see how it looks on my finger there? Definitely like a neon, like a, <laughs> a pigment for sure. So it is going to be a little powdery. There you have it. And then our final shade is called Chutney. It does appear to be a matte with maybe just the tiniest amount of sparkle, or maybe that's just from that shade. It's a nice terracotta. All right, so there we have the On the Mango color story. And again, I'll turn down the light so you can see just in regular light. There is On the Mango. I Without the bright lights on, I swear these top shades look better. Okay, okay, so our fourth and final quad in our last palette we'll be swatching today is the I See You Baby. <laughs> Such a cute name for a palette. Oh my gosh. If you're still watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, take a second hit that subscribe button. Come on, I'm doing this for you guys. I really would appreciate it and a thumbs up really does help my channel and it's free, so why not, you know? In this shade, or in this palette, we again have two asterisk shades. And again, they're not pressed glitters, so it's clearly for pigments. So let's get this one open. This one opened a lot easier. I just love that name. That is so cute. I see you, baby. Okay. This palette is so pretty. I'm so excited for it. There, I forgot to show you. I'll show you all of them close up in just a second. But there is that one. So first we have Morning Bowl. Get in frame here, Crystal G's. That 
palette's very similar, I feel, to the, to the strawberry palette. Definitely a little more pinky. So we have Morning Bowl. Very pretty shade, though. Oh, my gosh. Okay, the further down I put my arm, I see more of, like, a lavender reflect in that. Next, we have Yogi. This is a gorgeous jewel tone purple. It actually swatches lighter than it looks in the pan. I thought that was definitely going to see how dark it is. I thought it was going to look darker, but it's more of like a like a pinky purple. Really pretty though. Then we have <laughs> vitamin C, which is an interesting. When I hear vitamin C, I think of orange, but. So this is um, just a nice deep plummy purple with blue iridescent shiny things in it. And yes, blue iridescent shiny things is the technical term. So there is that color. Very pretty. Very much staining my finger. Then we have Chia Seed. This is a straight matte, no sparkle. Very pretty, deep, plummy shade. Again, like the deep purple in the Amethyst palette, it's not swatching as great as the other shades. Doesn't really want to blend, but you can't tell everything from a swatch. That is weird though, right? Let's see if I can... I'm really like trying to blend it in and I'm not getting a whole lot of great look, but it could perform differently on the eye. So here are the four shades from the ACU Baby palette. Let me turn down the light. So there are the colors in just regular overhead lighting. I would say these are quite different from the Amethyst palette. Let me show you all of these other ones close up like I did the purple one. So that is the Mango palette. Then we have the Strawberry Sweet palette. I love that click, it's so satisfying. And then we have the Feeling Coconutty palette. Feeling coconutty, going coconuts, love it. Okay, so those are all the quads. Do you want me to, let me swatch a couple of these from the All Amethyst palette, just on the same arm, just so we can see if the tones are similar. If there are any similar shades, I'm trying to look. You can definitely tell just by looking, these are more like, like a pinky purple where these are more of like deeper cooler purples but let me just see the ones I think would be the closest would be high grade and this top one here okay as you can see they're definitely different tones so not the same and then the other shimmers definitely not let's do this just deepest matte over here yeah, as you can see, definitely a, a cooler tone, purple vibe in the All Amethyst palette. So that's good to know. You don't wanna buy the exact same palette, so that's good. Here we have everything that I swatched for you today. In the comments, you guys let me know which one of these palettes is your personal favorite. Let me know, are you gonna be picking any of these up? Have you already picked them up? What do you think of the quality? Let a girl know. Um, I will be back with another video really shortly. I'm really enjoying doing these overhead videos. I have a lot to do. I have a whole bunch of really new, I got some new Glam Shop singles. I'm really excited to share with you guys. They have a brand new formula out. So I'm probably gonna be working on that tomorrow. Um, if you are interested in seeing that, then give me a thumbs up, let me know, and I will get it posted. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are in this beautiful world, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.